We're looking now at using Affinity Photo with Apple Photos. Now you can see I've got the Apple Photos um, open here at the moment and I've just got it on recent photos and there's a few in the in the panel there and behind it I already have Affinity Photo open. Now of course I've moved that off to one side slightly and I need that over here where I can just grab hold of the corners of it as we move backwards and forwards. Oh, let's, um, let's reduce that in size a little bit. There we go. Because for this exercise we don't need the full screen. Now there are a number of ways that you can get images into Affinity Photo. You'll note from Affinity Photo that File and New, there's New from Clipboard, Panorama, Stack, Merge, Focus, Merge, Batch, Job, and so on. Now, a new Panorama. What have we got there? Panoramas and Images. Well, you have to pull them in yourself. So we'll cancel that. You can't directly import them from Apple Photos, which I know sounds very odd because on the iPad, and I'll show you this later, on the iPad you can. This is obviously a function of the system. So what? how do you get your photos into Affinity Photo? Well, let's take this one of the rocks. Just open that up and you can see it's a picture of a breakwater. There are <clears throat> two ways of doing this. One, you can simply take the file and export the file. Export one photo, unmodified original for one photo. Export it and put. I'll put it for this exercise. Just put it in downloads, and off it goes. Export original, and off it goes to downloads. Now, if I want to put that same image into Affinity Photo, I can open the image by clicking File New, go to Downloads, and there it is. There. Two for two files have been exported. I must have clipped it twice. Never mind, we can get rid of that. There's the image there. We open it up slowly, slowly, and it imports it. It's a raw file, you'll note. So it's undeveloped. It doesn't look very attractive at all because it's undeveloped. Now, I'm not going into the development of that at the moment. Suffice to say, it's taken on the iPhone 11 with the back camera. You've got a bit of information about it there, and it's a raw image. If you're wondering how you get raw images, <coughs> excuse me, if you're wondering how you get raw images on your iPhone 11, use a little app called Halide. It's very good. Now, I don't want to develop it. I'll just cancel that for the time being. Are you sure you want to cancel this raw development? Yes, and it's gone. Now let's look at editing a photo directly in in Apple Photos. Now, what we want is just a plain image. Mm, okay, that one will do. Just a picture of a girl's hair. I was after the blonde colour. Now with that selected, we can go to Image. Edit, Image, Adjust, Date and Time, Auto, Enhance, Open, Show, Edit, Tools. Yeah. And now it's going to take a moment to do this. There we go. There's the Edit Tools showing. We're still in Apple Photos. We've got the Edit Tools showing. Now, if you want to be able to do the links to Apple, uh, to Affinity Photo, those three dots there are the extensions. These come with Affinity, and when you install Affinity, they're installed here. These I've already got installed, so there's no checkboxes down the side of them. But if you haven't installed them, there'll be checkboxes there. You simply tick them, and away you go. Manage, and there they are there. There's your tick boxes, you see. So you've, I clicked on Manage. I went to the three dots, manage, and there's the extensions there. Put that tick on there, 
close the box and you're ready to go. So you can just monochrome, liquefy, retouch, miniature haze removal, or you also again have the option edit in Affinity Photo. So you can edit in Affinity Photo from that interface. And we'll go through that. Just clicked on that. And there it is back in Affinity Photo again. That one there. We've still got that one there because I didn't close it, obviously. Apple Photos document tells you there. Now this is it. This is editing that thing directly in Affinity Photo. It hasn't made a copy. It's not on the. Um, it's not in the downloads folder. It's still in Apple Photos. It's an Apple Photos document. So if I change it here, it will be changed in Photos. Let's see. Let's just crop that. There's our crop. We'll apply the crop. And there it is there. And if we save that, that should now... I'll just get rid of that other image. We don't want that one in there. That one there. If I close that image, Go back to photos, and there's the photo. Save changes. Unable to edit with edit in an unexpected error occurred. Well, that's all we need to know. But it has done it. You can see that image now it doesn't have that. Um, I think it was TikTok or something. It's been cropped. But you'll see it's cropped the original in Apple Photos. So there's no sign of the other one now. So be careful with that one. You're far better off if you've got that selected in Photos, Image. You can either show the Edit Tools or you can go to File edit with affinity photo so there are a number of ways to get to it but now that one gives you the image jpg and you would save it to a different file uh, you don't want to save it back to the apple photos directory because that's your that's your management tool let's just close that Oh, Affinity extension quit unexpectedly. There's an error that's just popped up and surprised everybody. Doesn't like doing too much, does it? So it just crashed the extension. Affinity photo. We'll quit Affinity photo. There we go. Image. Show edit tools. There's our edit tools. Edit in Affinity Photo. And there we go. Edit in Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo is just opened. Closed. And there we go. Back to the original. Because the thing crashed, didn't it? Okay. But there you go. So there's a number of ways to get your image into photo quite safely without having to import it directly. Cancel. Done. And we're back to photo. So you can edit within photos. You can, you can sit in Apple Photos quite happily and edit so long as you've got those extensions in there or you edit with photo and of course there's designer publisher and oh, there's all sorts of all sorts of things there but that's the one we were looking at okay very good now having looked at two ways or possibly three of editing 
photos that are held in Apple Photos and using Affinity Photo or Designer, I guess, or Publisher to edit those photos. Finally, we have one last method. Just bring up Photos, Favorites. Now there's a nice image from Deposit Photos. Do I want to edit that one? You simply right click on it, scroll down the list, edit with Affinity Photo. Now there's Designer or Publisher and a few others, but you can open with any of those. Let's just open it with Affinity Photo. And it just takes a moment because it's probably not starting Affinity Photo. Why do you suppose that is? There it goes. Bouncing up and down. It probably had to find it, download it from the iCloud and then open Affinity Photo. And there it goes. Now that's actually a trap for unwary players. I noticed last night the same thing happens on the iPad in that if there is a photo in the cloud and all mine are it's going to take a little while for it to get the whole process going but that was simply in there right click edit with affinity photo what could be simpler so we have editing with affinity photo you can load a file in from new from clipboard actually you could <laughs> there's the other method too many ways you can edit let's have a look at um, that one there double click on it and bring it up edit copy go over to affinity photo file new from clipboard and there it is what could be easier now that's fine for doing um, JPEGs and things like that. I don't know how to go with a raw file. Don't save it. No, we don't want to save it. Very nice photo of Shanghai. I like that skyline. Shanghai is a fabulous place. If you ever get the chance to go there, do so. And that's closed. That's closed. And we're back to photos. That's all there is to it. How many ways can you open a photo and edit it with Affinity Photo. I'm starting to lose count. On the iPad, Affinity Photo. You want to edit something in Affinity Photo on the iPad? Same goes for Designer, because Publish is not available yet. Let's find a photo. Okay, there's our girl with the hair. Now, I've already worked on that, so we don't need that one. But what we do want is to open, and we can directly import from Photos. There we go. Recently added. Well, there's a nice photo of a bunch of flowers. Loading from photos. Bang. There we go. And it's, well, sideways. Somewhere there's an adjustment for that. But I won't spend five minutes looking for that. Um, suffi sufficient to say that if you want to... Open a new file, templates, clipboards. Well, there's clipboard again, so you can copy an image from photos and open it from the clipboard. But this, why would you when you've got open directly from the cloud? There's my partner holding up a big snake. You've got to watch out for those fellas. Lots of them wriggling around. That one, of course, is dead. Got run over by the ride-on mower. Poor thing. And that's all there is to it. With iPad, too easy.